We've nominated our cousin Emerson. She is four years old and has spina bifida. This is a disease that causes your spine to have a gap. She's not able to walk or talk. She has, ta she has taught me that everything in life is worth living for. She has been through people staring at her, point of fingers, and about 13 surgeries. Yet she still manages to make me smile. She is learning how to do sign language, and let me tell you, she's a very fast learner. She has the largest smile and the most positive attitude. She loves to help and make jokes. Now, because of her, I know that no one person is a hero, but anyone ordinary who makes things off the screen. It's so important that they realize that they can be anything that they want to be. They can strive to do anything. There's nothing in this world that's too small or too big that they can't achieve. I mean, it was really, it took my breath away. It sent chills up my spine to realize that those kids, you know, chose me as their hero for the things that I'm doing in the, com in the community. I'm very proud of the services to our country. It was an honor for me to be here. I, I felt really honored, especially to have those kids do that and read, and perfect, read perfectly and say those things. It was really touching. Our hero is also my mom. She is the best mom ever. Also, my mom. Our class hero is police officer for the city of Alabaster. He not only puts his life on the line every day for our community, but he's also involved in our community and church. Even the smallest thing can be considered a, you know, a super citizen. You, know, you don't ever think of yourself that way. And I hope that for all of them, that they're all successful and that they are all doing their job and their part just to be a good citizen. Your funds, your resources, your time, your efforts have uh, been able to put on and instill these great values in our, our children. Knowing that there's always not enough money to go around, trying to define needs and wants. Uh, it's greatly appreciated what you do and the investment that you're making in our youth today.